This video is to record and show you some of the non-obvious aspects of installing a new copy of SharpCap. You're going to get your copy of SharpCap on your memory stick. This is the same one that you use for storing your data. You take that stick and put it in the computer the normal way. When you put the stick in, you get the usual pop-up screen showing you the contents of the drive. You'll see that there's two directories here. SharpCap captures, that's where you will store your data, but under the SharpCap folder is where the new executable. So double click on that, open it up, and you'll see a file here. I recommend opening up a second copy of the file manager. open a new window and navigate to documents and then you will see a folder here called SharpCap. Open that up and you see in here various drivers and license files and previous versions that were installed on here. We don't want to delete any of this but you can copy this file, this new file, into the directory. That's the first step. This next bit the usual bit. You just double click the icon to install. Agree to the license terms. Say install. <phone rings> And yes, we want to allow the app to make changes. And then close. Close this window. And we've completed step two. So far, this has all been pretty standard stuff. But this next bit is really important. So you open up the file manager, go to C drive, the operating system, program files, x86, then to SharpCap 3.2, which is the one that we just installed. There it is in the middle, sharp cap. So you right click this item, go to properties, then click compatibility, and towards the bottom it says run this program as administrator. You want to check that box, say apply, and OK. And that has completed the installation of the new version.